we got the 1971 gauges, but there's a problem. Let's talk about it. Today's video is brought to you by Lethal Camaro second generation decals. Available in red, orange, black, and white, and available in other generation designs. Check them out at the link below and support the channel. What's going on guys? Met over here, Lethal Garage. And today, well, we got our 1971 replacement. I shouldn't even say replace. Well, I never had gauges, so I'm not replacing anything. But we got new gauges for the 1971 Lethal Classic. Now, there is a ton of options on the market all the way from AutoZone speed dial gauges to Autometer to Dakota Digital to a ton of well-known companies out there. And it's it becomes pretty hard to choose. Now, I've made the choice. I paid full retail price for Dakota Digital gauges. And for me, it came down to the look, the quality, and the bezel that these inset in. Now, I was looking at a lot of different options. I was looking at aftermarket bezels. I was looking at the cheap, generic looking bezels. But really what drew my eye was one, the gauges, and two, the actual bezel that, or that Dakota Digital makes that really kind of set it apart for me. And I was like, it's gonna look like the factory reproduction because I have one here. Actually, let's grab it real quick. Let's take a look at what we have factory. So I bought a replacement dash from a factory 1972 Camaro. And in that dash was this bezel. Now this bezel's not in the, oh, I guess I have it upside down, sorry. So this bezel is not in the worst of shape, but you can see some of my, con like this side's pretty good. It obviously needs a new windshield wiper, needs an updated, uh, pull switch but the corner here looks a little bit melted and messed up and i just wasn't happy with the overall quality of it will it work will it suit my needs sure but it's it's older it, it has seen better days i i think it's missing parts and pieces from it anyways and some of the stuff is just really old now when i looked at the dakota digital setup their setup reminded me very much of this one. It was high quality or it looked high quality in the images. And uh, yeah, we'll get into the gauges here in a second. I'll tell you which ones I got, but this was the one hang up I had. And this is why I want to caveat for you guys. So first and foremost, Dakota Digital shipped everything amazingly. It was packaged well. This box came in with another box with more packing peanuts than you can think. Everything was wrapped in anti-static bubble bags like uh, big kudos to them in that regards but when we get this open and and you guys can yell at me if i'm being petty about this but this replacement bezel was 195 bucks plus shipping so and if you look at it at first glance it looks just like the factory one right the texture's not as deep as the factory setup so if you get real close there and kind of get an idea i mean it but it's close and i mean it's not as shiny which i'm okay with i like that matte look over a shiny look but the thing that got me i don't want to say upset because i'm not upset about it it's this is what happens when it's probably not made in america and let's see if it even has like a made in so yeah you see made in taiwan even taiwan usually has better standards than this so the back of it looks shiny they spent some time on that but the thing that gets me is down in here if you look at the silver it's like it's not even just on the trim it's on the black areas you can see it there here you can see upper edges where the shininess i don't want to call it chrome it might be a chrome paint but it's like not even on there it's really thin it gets really thin here in the center and it's like flaking off and breaking off already here and that's like brand new out of the bubble wrap and so i emailed dakota digital asking them I'm like hey like i didn't email them angry i didn't you know i just said hey i just want to i want to know is this how this product comes or is this what's expected and they responded back a couple days later because it was it was a weekend in fairness so they responded actually really quick but they responded back saying hey it's a factory reproduction piece and we can't guarantee it's going to look any better if we replace it than the one you have sucks you know it's it's a hundred and eighty five dollar piece 
you know, it's probably injection molded and they have someone or even a machine doing a quick paint job on them, wrap them up, get it out the door. Is this something to get mad about at 150 bucks or 185 bucks plus shipping? Probably not. And I'm gonna take on the effort to replace it or fix it and paint it myself and make it look better. It, it'll be a fun project for me. And actually, I'll, I may even recruit, recruit Jay's two cents, if you guys know Jay at all. Um, we've been kind of in each other's videos back and forth, but he's a really hardcore model builder and has like all the stuff to do this right. And so I'm gonna see if I can hire or pester him to see if he can help me look make this look better than it does right now. And it, I, I get it, yeah, I'm being petty here, but it, you know, you have some sort of expectation. Dakota Digital is known in the market uh, for having good quality products. And I just, maybe I just expected a little bit more here, but let's check out the actual gauges. So again, I have everything obviously unpackaged because I checked it out the moment I had it. But again, huge kudos to them for their packing job. Again, anti-static bag, nicely wrapped up. This was in this box with more packing peanuts and all sorts of great stuff. But you can see the gauge setup that I went with. I went with the HDX 70C. Uh, for the Camaro, this is for the 1970 to 81 Camaro setup. So it's a straight kind of plug and play in a sense once it's in the dash, so you're not messing with wires way up there, but they have this little control box. This HDX control box is what everything actually pins into and then operates the actual gauges. Now, my interior, I went with a silver and black and kind of, you know, whitish background. They call this the silver background for it. And I'm sure it's gonna really stand out once it's in the car and connected and everything. But I, this was my birthday present to myself and I ordered this and I think it's gonna look really good. And you can see the single pin plug-in. Actually, I think there's technically two plug-ins, but you know, and I also got all the add-in options. I got the new uh, pole for adjusting the light, their little knob. I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not, but I, I got it for the car anyways, because I wanted to see what it, you know, it, it looked better than the other options I've seen out there. And worst case scenario, I can use this housing, but I have access to CNC machines and so I can make my own knobs and ends and stuff like that. And, you know, maybe I'll go down that route. I don't know, but we'll see how this looks on the car and we can address that once the car is assembled and all that greatness. The nice thing is the wiring will be there. The, con you know, the connection point will be there. We can change the buttons if we want. I also got the gear shift sender so we can have the gear shift light on there, uh, know exactly how that will look and be, and you know, it comes with all the other goodies and controls and all that stuff. This video is not about the actual install side of it, but more of the actual gauges in here. I'll pull this off and kind of see what, see what it looks like in there. So a nice clean setup. Now my neighbor down the street, Rich, who has a 1973, I think he has the setup just a step down from this one. Like I didn't want to go the full digital setup because it was just, it was too techy for what I wanted. This still gave me that sense of old school feel, but with a little more of a modern brush up. And that's, that's the look that I wanted. So, and I think it's going to match the interior that we're deciding to go with and it's going to look really clean and nice. And then what, oh, I packed up and let me get the bezel and I'll set it on there and kind of see what it looks like on the bezel. And don't hate me for not taking off all the plastic pieces, but you can kind of see how that's going to line up right on there and look really nice. Now, I actually, since I have the factory one, I can see if this is just a direct replacement or will work with a factory setup. And yeah, well, I mean, it looks like it will. Sits right on into the factory one as well. That works. But overall, I'm happy with the look and feel. I do just want to say to Dakota Digital, like the product looks really good. I am slightly disappointed with the aftermarket bezel. I do wish you guys had a little bit better quality control on that silver trim. I really like the way that that was portrayed in the image. Your images on your site clearly show perfect silver trim all the way around it. So I kind of expected that. But outside of that, it won't be too hard of a fix. We'll go ahead and adjust this and fix it and make it look like new and uh, we'll go from there. So either or, thanks for checking out this video. Let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know what gauges you went with in your classic. Um, post them down below in the comments, but thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to hit subscribe if you've enjoyed the content, and until next time, I'll see you on the road.